Welcome, friends. Welcome back to the kitchen. Today, I have my friend Gage here from Sharp Knife Shop in Hamilton. Yes, sir. Pleasure to be here. Thank you so much. Well, thanks for coming in. So if I was only going to buy, say, three knives, if I, if I wanted to keep my kitchen fairly sparse, sure. three knives, which three would you think? Well, so that, that's a, a great question because I, I find that a lot of home cooks come in and they're looking for a set. They want yeah. like a full set of knives, um, 12 pieces, um, and they're willing to spend you know, a couple hundred, if not a thousand dollars on that, on that that full, 12 uh, full in a, set. In a, in a block. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, in a block like that. Exactly yeah. like that. I don't know how much that would have gone for, but um, my issue with, with the knife set is that you're going to find that one knife you feel super comfortable using and you're going to grab it to do everything. And you've got eight others that never leave the block. So you've got eight other knives that you've spread that money across, yep. thereby diminishing the quality of the knife and, and how well it performs for you. So I encourage people to, I know you asked for three, but maybe I could say we'll start with one okay. and then we'll start with if you just wanted to do two knives two. and then we'll work our way sure. all the way up to three. So sure. the, 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 the one knife that I recommend people starting with and spending a good amount of money on um, is either a Santoku or a Gyuto. Okay. So the, the difference between them is largely the, the length. So the average size Gyuto is about 210 millimeters. 165 or six and a half inches, whichever you feel more comfortable with. I, I would suspect that most home cooks would feel more comfortable with this. That's yeah. my experience yep. uh, with people that come in. Um, I myself, in fact, when I was cooking professionally, preferred a Santoku as well. Okay. I found that they were much easier to manage for me, um, much better at the more intricate stuff. Um, so, so I really liked one. And then I had a larger uh, sujihiki or slicing knife that I would use for any of that sort of stuff. Yep. Um, but I would argue that the Gyuto is more versatile just because it's, more, it's longer. It's going to be better at larger vegetables, better at slicing. Yes. Um, but if you're not comfortable using a knife of that length, uh, you're not going to grab for it and not... uh, you're going to feel uncomfortable. So yep. uh, comfort is huge. Uh, yeah, comfort is huge. Yeah. If you're not comfortable with it, you're never going to use it. 100%. And if you're not comfortable with it, you're more likely to hurt yourself. Yes, 100%. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, so all that to say, I generally send home cooks to the Santoku okay. and then I send professionals towards the Gyuto. Yep. Yeah. That's just a beautiful knife. It is. Absolutely beautiful knife. Pretty cool. So now I've got one knife. Now you've got one knife. So you get that one knife and now after a few months of using it, you're like, okay, I need another one. It is a de definitely an addiction. <laughs> For sure. Yes. I've been suffering for the better part of the last decade. Yep. Um, but it, there are worse addictions to have uh, because you get a lot out of these knives. They yep. make you excited to get in the kitchen and use them. Um, and they make your cooking better. You, you're, more, you're more uniform, you're more accurate, and yep. therefore your food cooks more consistently, more consistently properly, and then it yeah. tastes better. Yep. Um, so if you were to add on to this guy, I would set you up next with a petty knife. Yep. Um, these guys are great for sort of in breakfast time, lunch time, when you're just doing those sort of random small tasks, cutting up fruit, yep. maybe taking the tops off some strawberries for your parfait. Uh, maybe at lunchtime you're slicing a tomato, cutting a sandwich in half. You don't need anything large yep. or cumbersome or, or something that's going to take up a lot of space. Yes. Um, so these are super handy just to leave out on the countertop. Um, for professionals, uh, I find that they're fantastic as sort of like a line knife. So you're online, again, you need something that's versatile capable, but that doesn't take up a lot of space. So great for, you know, slicing steaks, doing random little things here okay. and there. They're also a great butchery knife as well. So, um, you know, while, while it is nice to have knives specific to a certain task, when you're building your kit, you kind of want things that can do a multitude yep. of tasks, right? And breaking down chickens, um, rabbits, butchering larger pieces of meat. So like deboning a shoulder, yeah. taking the silver skin off a tenderloin. They're all yeah. they're all totally within the, the capabilities. I, of I a can petty I knife. can see following a bone with this. Oh yeah, it's really fantastic, nice. right? Yeah. Yep. Um, I often find myself using the, the sort of port pointer finger technique with these guys. The the further you have your your finger to the tip, the more control you have over the tip. So yep. especially for butchery, they're they're fantastic. Yep. Um, so now if we're going for three knives, um, kind of opens up the world of possibilities a little bit because I brought I brought for instance another shape like this guy here, which is called a kritsuke. Um, very similar to the chef's knife, obviously. L slightly different, more aggressively shaped tip here, mm -hmm. um, and a little bit flatter profile. So I would argue a little bit better at slicing, okay. um, both because of both of those reasons, and, and really great at the up and down chopping motion or push and or pull motions. So we could, uh, we could incorporate this into your kit 
um, a, a Kritsuke or a Gyuto with your Santoku and your Petty Knife. And the larger Gyuto or Chef's Knife or, or Kritsuke or whatever you go with is uh, going to take care of those larger tasks um, and make those a lot better. Um, you know, the larger the blade, the easier it's going to be to take on to take larger it. tasks. Yeah. Um, and those three knives, and then, I mean, you could either, if you feel comfortable with the Gyuto and using the tip, um, and you just don't get a lot of use out of your Santoku because it's just a little too small, maybe you incorporate a, a Nakiri with your Gyuto and your, and your petty knife. Um, there's a yeah. ton of possibilities. And they don't have to match. They do not have to match. <laughs> and, and like, I understand, and, and I, if you want it to match, I'm, I'm happy to help you find stuff that matches. Yeah. But one of the things that drew me to Japanese knives was how, how much there is to know. Um, you know, I'm the type of person that likes to get into things, and I like to get into things that will keep me learning for yes. a long time. Yeah. And uh, Japanese knives, uh, there's a lot to know. Um, you can learn about all the different smiths. There's thousands of independent blacksmiths in Japan making amazing, amazing knives. I haven't discovered them all yet, um, but it is my mission. Um, and learning about them all and using different knives is a ton of fun and um, an experience that's... Uh, that I encourage people to, to go through. Not just, the, don't just stick with the one blacksmith or the one knife manufacturer, you explore just a explore little bit. Explore and find yeah. out, yeah. yeah. And they'll, they'll each have strengths in different, in different areas. That's they? a fantastic point. You know, some makers make the, the most beautiful Gyutos, but their petty knives are maybe just not my taste or whatever. Yep. Um, and then vice versa, some people are really great at making certain shapes of knives. So um, cool. kind of find that as you go along. So will you hang out a little while and we'll we'll discuss how to choose a knife and then how to care for the knives and yeah. sharpen knives? Yeah, super great. excited. So um, thanks for stopping by. Come on back and we're going to have a whole video series about knives.